everybody it's Lynn from Lynn's Craft Designs. I got a I got a kinda long one today. I'm gonna I'm gonna take all of the all of these molds and turn them into a for better word vanity tray. Um it's, it will hold your jewelry, it will have several little containers, and it will hold your cell phone. This one holds the cell phone really nice in a good viewing um, angle, that's the word. <laughs> At a good viewing angle. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different molds if you count this as two molds. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna start with I've already got these two poured. These were from another pour that I did several months ago. Okay, this is the set of micas that came with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. YR YMHT. HTV Rot sent me. Okay, for the little oak leaf, these are the ones that I pulled out. An antique bronze. That is the uncopperest. <laughs> copper color I've ever seen and then this deep green deep green can you read that deep green dark green My goodness and then for this leaf that I still have no idea what it is <laughs> I pulled out five colors now I don't, no idea whether I'll use all these or Magic red. Come on. You, you gotta. It's not red, but you gotta. Deep rose, which is a much redder. Pinkier ready. Anyway. Orange red, which is totally a pumpkin orange to me. And then orange, which is totally not. But it'd be a highlight color on a pumpkin. And then this bright yellow. I don't know why. I just really want to use that. So. <laughs> hmm. Decisions. Decisions. I do not like it in the bags. You cannot control how much you get on your brush. Yeah, this is a lot browner. Brown. <laughs> is that a word? I don't think so. Browner. Than a copper, I'm thinking. You companies that... Don't know what copper looks like. That amazes me. Sorry, anti brown. Hey, at least it looks like.
All right. I am feeling immense disappointment in this already. And although these two will go together fine, I am not at all sure about the uh, cop. What I'm going to call copper. Okay. Dump this out. Alright. This is this, which is a macro pearl, which gives a lot glitterier, glit glitterier look. I'm going to put. Also, though, it can take over. Just like that, I hear Michelle from Glitz and Glitter talk about it all the time. I've had this unicone powder, that's what I call it. Uh, it's the crushed crystal um, from the unicone brand. I, I don't know. It literally a quarter of a spoon, boy, and you put too much. Now, I know it's it's my instinct <laughs> to put too much glitter, but because this is already um, mm -hmm, dusted with mica, we're not going to see much of this glitter, to be honest. I just want to back it with something that's a little bit closer. Than black. This is the Sigwong Metallic Alcohol Ink. And this one is the Fuchsia. Mm. But they do need to be shook. Because they settle. And when I say shook, I really mean shook. You know, make sure it gets all that solid part off the bottom. <sighs> and then it won't be open. <laughs> Not exactly what I intended, but worked all right let's see how pretty this is gonna be now I'm not lifting my stick up out of the resin even though I'm whipping it and My stick is staying in the resin. Alright. So pretty. But so not pigmented enough. Come on. Now that alcohol ink, it tends to float on the top. 
until you really get it stirred in good. It'll even stick to the sides of your cup. Alright, let's look. Oh, that is really pretty. Oh yeah, okay. Back with the girl. He's back where they go. <laughs> Clean up just a little bit. Okay. Just because I know that the glitter has a tendency to settle to the bottom. And of course that's really the side we want it to settle to in this particular case. But every time I just let the resin even settle for a second, I can see how uh, quickly it all separates out. Alright. We're going to go for it. We'll fill up our little oak leaf first. Sorry if my hand's in the way and you can't see anything. And we're just gonna. Oh, so what? I only did this much. <clears throat> I know I've said this before. I, <laughs> I have an uncanny knack for filling up just the right amount or mix it up just the right amount I should say okay that okay I'm sorry for the disgusting state of my mat this morning but we're just gonna soldier on a bit of green this one Almost got a tiny bow right there, but not quite. Okay, let's see how our polymer clay held up. Well, okay. A little bit more to dig out, but that's because the resin... Um, you know, just went over both sides. Okay. Still a little bendy, but it was a little bit later in the day when I poured it. all except the mica around the edges right, let's, let's just trim away from the back side okay I want to turn it over and get it from the front side 
I'm gonna make you wait. Let's demold this one. Sorry, I'm going to trim that off. Y'all will be proud. I didn't look. <laughs> okay. Let's look at this one first. Oh, I like that. in the color okay drum roll please Ugh. Ugh, I really don't like it <laughs> I really don't like it mm. now of course I'll put a top coat um, on this and I'm gonna sprinkle just ever so lightly with uh -huh. can't even tell you where it came from it's like um, the glitter dust but it's not a holographic it's a real fine almost champagne color not a very yellowy anyway I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that it it it's similar to that unicone crushed crystal <gasps> I believe I remember it but it is actually a glitter put that in there see if that will ugh, if that'll help it some but I do like that we cut that I have another eight ounces mixed up right here uh, four of the B and four of the A <clears throat> I'm gonna pour off I want enough to do this If there's enough resin left, I want to pour the top of this. And I I just want the very end of it to be green. Okay. My arm is sticking right here. I didn't do any resin over there. Pour it off. Do the green. Okay, and then I'm going to color the rest of it. Um, in a... In... in Sorry. <laughs> In the uh, Mad Micah's Sexy Stranger on a Train. Okay, now. Sorry, I'm totally bit. Still clean till now. Uh, you know I don't like the bags. A good healthy scoop. Um, two a good, a good healthy scoop. Yeah. 
I know it's mica. And we probably won't see this, but I'm gonna put a scoop of that. Just <laughs> for the fall fun of it. Let me see somewhere. Somewhere I've got a a stick I can color this with somewhere. Okay, there they are. Of course, in a baggie. And they're sealed. What's the idiot that did that? Me. Okay. So, you know, this is not a sealed, but it's going in uh, really heavy mica powder anyway, so you won't see, you won't see any bubbles. Sorry, stirring like a mad woman. Oh, I don't like these cups. I don't like these cups. They have, you know, they have the little, uh, mm -hmm. little things that stick out. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If they were on the outside, they'd be feet, but they're on the inside. I, I really and truly I don't know what purpose they serve they bound to serve some purpose but maybe it has to do with them when they're stacked okay that was exactly what I wanted there's that one. Now. Bit. Yeah, okay. Right there. That's good. And then we've got the rest of it. That I'll, I'm going to let this set for 10 minutes maybe it's already a medium viscosity resin but I want it to be thick enough that it's not gonna flow over the edges when I when I put it on there so I'm gonna set this aside hoping and praying not to knock it over now the rest of this uh, oh what I did it. I did it. Contaminated myself with no baby wife present. I hate that. Okay, so. But it was actually from the resin cup. Alright. Now, I want, I want this heavily pigmented. And you know me, for mica powder, that was a bunch. I do not, I do not waste mica powder. I'll say one thing for these bags, at least they have where the, mm -hmm, the tabs are one shorter than the other. One and a half of uh, the, that's the copper. So it's called. I don't know where I keep getting this. Okay. Maybe. 
And same thing, I'm going to add some glitter to this as well. And throw it out on my mat. be there in just a second okay <laughs> so here is the one that we backed with the green doesn't really look a lot different <clears throat> all right I like it better from the other side actually <laughs> All right. Oh, well, let's, let's dig all the little rocks first. Okay. This is one of the only ones that has overpour. No, it's just a tiny bit. Alright, I love the sparkly. Love those. Alright. Now, with these, this last row <laughs> is half brown and half green. And I literally just poured what was left. That's why there's so many. throw these in the floor. This is one of the half green, half brown ones. I kind of like those actually. But boy, they are slickery. Fully cured. But just slickery. As you can tell by the sound of them. Oh, that was... Hit me in Sorry about that, my battery died. And I promise I have not looked. I was right. I absolutely love it. I love the glitter. It's still, um, 
I don't want to say sparse enough, but it's still sparse enough that you can clearly see the green. Oh, I love that. That is beautiful. Okay, now. You know when I poured this. Initially, I just want the, um, the bottom of this dish, box, jar, container, whatever you want to call it. I think this looks like an acorn top. I've always thought that, but anyway. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love that brown. <laughs> love with that brown all right but I'm thinking the glitter really came through let's undo the top first <laughs> okay so I wasn't gonna do the top but I figured why not now remember how carefully we went around to make sure it was all filled in. Now this mold arrived uh, warped. So as you can see the lid is not completely round. it with the green no it's not even but it's pretty and let's see one tiny little partial bubble right there and then another one right there. Maybe, maybe one right there. But it looks pretty good. Oh. I love it. How much are we going to love this one? Alright, it would be better if it was turning right side out, wrong side out. But. That is beautiful. One little bubble right there. Nowhere else. is beautiful I love it I so love that brown <coughs> sexy stranger on a train <gasps> trying to decide whether I really want to do the gold the it's not gold 
type is copper leaf. I really just want it, you know, sparse. I don't want it. Okay, maybe just on the tips. I didn't think about that. Maybe just on the tips. Thing I wanted to say. I know if you clean the top of this with alcohol first and let it dry, that that, um, where it won't stick, <laughs> uh, won't happen, sorry. So, I'm going to keep going on. I think, I really think just the outside is all I want on this one. Yeah, like that. Just where, you know, it they don't uh, they don't impede your view when you're looking at your phone. What we don't want is the glue strings. I can see one right there. there okay this is just some UV resin that I literally mixed with the tiniest bit of that gold and I'm just gonna spread it around so we get a little bit of it everywhere Except on the mat. Okay. Wow. Get a couple rocks out of the way. Now, I could have put a thicker layer of resin, of UV resin, but as you saw, I, w I ran out. I've got more on the way, so I can put another top coat. I literally love that. I love this dish. I love it. I'm giving this one away or selling it or it's so pretty I absolutely love that with some jewelry you know some cheap dollar store jewelry and maybe a cardboard cut out of a phone oh. yep I'm thinking that would do it for you right there. And I'd be surprised if this wasn't the first one to sell. I'm going to share. I'm going to share a little craft fair advice, knowledge, tips, whatever you want to call it. When my husband and I used to do craft fairs, he made barnwood furniture. And I made, I made cloth dolls, I made, um, si I did signs out of the, out of the barn wood too. In other words, I did like a framed sign that said Black Stallion Inn, okay? I did another one that said Shorthorn Inn. 
that short horn in. I really, I hated it. I hated it. It was not my best work. It literally sold before we could get the stand set up. As soon as I set that picture down, a guy stopped and was wanting the price. I cannot tell you how many times that has happened to me. Never discount your work that you don't like. I've said this time and time again. People will buy what they want, not what you want to sell them. Okay? Create from your heart, but don't throw away those pieces you don't like. Just put them in the craft fair anyway. All it's going to do is take up space but more than likely it'll be your next seller thank y'all so much for watching I'm in love with this. now i did want to say this earlier these little sorry This little set of the metal leaf. Black, silver, gold, blue, black and gold, uh, fuchsia, green, purp uh, blue and silver, okay, purple and fuchsia. Sorry, I probably ought to take them all out, but I'm not gonna. These just came from. Amazon. They're on my Amazon uh, storefront. Several different combinations. Okay, some of them aren't um, eight colors. There's some that are maybe just six colors, five colors. I don't know. There's several sets. Alright, as I was starting to say before, thank y'all so much for watching. I love, I love that y'all are my subscribers. Sorry, gotta wipe my nose. 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I love that y'all are my subscribers. I, I don't say that often enough. I need more friends in my life. I'm just going to say that. I live in a very, very rural area. I am homebound on top of that. So, I don't get much interaction. I love that. I, I'm so glad that I put the green. I really thought about that hard I uh, even had second thoughts about it but I'm really glad I did it alright I've got an Amazon shop where I have I don't have the I don't have the Mad Micahs I don't know if that's still a company uh, I'll have to look them up uh, but I do have mica powders, glitters, resin dyes, alcohol inks, resin, UV resin, silica. I have all of that in my Amazon shop. If any of that interests you, I've also got um, Facebook, Instagram, buy me a coffee link, Amazon wish list. It's all down there. <laughs> below it'll be a little bit of description and then it'll be the links oh. I'm sorry I'm gonna say it again 
I just love it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.